be the what's in my bag video on YouTube with one of the smallest bags ever. So yes, I am doing an updated what's in my bag video, but this one is a little bit different because it's essentially the no crap edition. If you watch my old what's in my bag videos, I can't remember exactly what's in them, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that probably doesn't actually need to be there. It's been an adventure with this bag and I freaking love it. I got it from Chloe and you can see it is like the size of my hand and everything that I need fits in here with room to spare. Let's see what's inside my little bundle bag because doesn't it look like a little bundle? It's like a little bundle bag. First thing that's in here is my card holder. So this is my wallet. I do not carry around a traditional wallet anymore because they're just too big and too clunky for me and I would just end up storing things that I didn't need. So here I have all the cards that I need. I have my Metro Pass for when I'm in New York. I can put cash in this pocket here and then it has a zippered compartment Apartment as well so inside here I will carry around like change more cash but I also have some hair ties and bobby pins if I can get them out come on little bobby pins you can do it bobby pins and I have them in the zippered compartment so the bobby pin and hair ties stealing fairies cannot get to them unless it's unzipped this is kind of random, but it serves a purpose. I have a Ziploc bag with tissue in it. Need to go to a public restroom and there's no tissue? No problem. Need to blot your oily face? No problem. Need to make a toilet seat cover? No problem. You're covered if you just have plain, simple tissue. You can do so much with this. It's a multi-purpose product. I believe this is the biggest thing that I have in my bag. It is the Honest Organic Healing Balm, and this is really awesome. So I tend to get really dry hands, especially during this time of the year, and especially with all the travel that I've been doing. When you put it on, it does feel very thick and a little bit greasy, but it absorbs into your skin, so that feeling doesn't stay around forever. I use this on my hands, but it says that you can also use this for diaper rash, minor cuts, eczema, scrapes, and other things. So if you get a cut or something like that and you're out, you can put this on. You can even put this on your lips. It's a multi-purpose product and I just really love having it. And they sell this at Target. So super easy to find. It's in the baby section. It's awesome. Starting to get into more of the beauty stuff, I have a hand sanitizer. This one is from Whole Foods. The brand, I believe, is called EO, and this is their peppermint spray hand sanitizer. So it's in spray form. You don't have to worry about a gel or anything, and it just helps get rid of any germs. Got some mints here because I don't wanna be the smelly kid with dragon breath because that is definitely me sometimes. I only have this much left, so I'll probably get some other mints and then fill up this tin with it because I just like the small convenient size. I have a little mini bottle of the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia Cologne. This is one of my favorite scents from Jo Malone. I have the Peony and Blush Suede one in New York and I keep this one in my bag just in case I want to freshen up. It has the spray. It's not like you have to dab it on or anything. It's like the exact same thing as the regular bottle, just in a smaller size. I also have a lip balm, and this is the Smith's Rosebud Salve that is almost gone. These are really great when your lips are chapped. You don't have to dip your finger in a pot or anything, and mine, not gonna lie, is actually kind of there's like <laughs> there's like stuff on the side because I use it all the time but you know I really love it it does its job I have some very fancy CVS bandages here these are very very fancy not really they're just basic bandages and I have two of them because I don't know what's gonna happen. For colored lip products, I usually like to carry around one neutral and one brighter color. So for the neutral, I have the NARS Satin Lip Pencil. This is a really nice, just everyday nude color. And this is a mini pencil that I got as, I believe my birthday present from Sephora. They just gave it to me and it came with a red color that I also really like. And it's a small size, so it's perfect for the bag. And then for the bright color, I tend to just carry around CoverGirl Tempt everywhere. I just know that this is a color that works, it stays on, I don't have to worry about it. And you can tell I've used it a lot because it looks like a little stubby guy. There's 
yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> this is definitely very well loved. It's one of those bright colors that you can just put on and you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere. It just stays and looks good continually throughout the day. Like I'll look in the mirror and think, oh my God, my lip color is just gonna be gone and it's still there and that is the best thing because you just don't have to think about it. Sometimes have my phone in my bag and sometimes it'll be in my pocket so it just kind of moves around and sometimes it's in my hand. And the very last thing in the very small bag is a pen because sometimes you need to write. So that's why I have the pen and this is just a normal size pen. It's a Pentel Wow pen in case you're wondering. So that is it for my what's in my bag video, the no crap edition. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I challenge you to go through your bags and minimize things. So see if you can really start to get stuff down to a point where you're only carrying around the stuff that you absolutely need. Send me photos on Twitter and Instagram if this is something that you end up doing if you switch to a smaller bag or you just reduce the amount of stuff in your bag. I want to see your pictures, so you can send them to me there. But until then, I will see you guys later. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. And I don't know why I just did that, but I'm going to peace out now before it gets even weirder, so peace out. I forgot one more thing that's in my bag. <laughs> Obviously, nugget. Right, nuggos? You smell like chicken.